Hi guys and welcome back to Crossfader. My name's DJ Holland and this is Engine Prime version 1.5.0. Now for a long time, Denon DJ's hardware has been sublime. It's really good. We love the Prime series of players here at Crossfader. However, the Engine Prime software, which you use to create playlists, crates, you know, analyze and prepare your music for playback on these devices, it hasn't been the best. But the team at Denon DJ are working so hard to get this, um, you know, updated and upgraded. And today with the version 1.5, 0 update there's been some great changes that we think you should know about so let's get into the software and have a look what's new the first thing I want to talk about and show you is under the hood it's not as noticeable but it's a completely new algorithm for the BPM detection and beat grid placement so it's really important to have a good beat grid and BPM detection because the players um, for features such as quantize sync auto loops, slicers, even the beat effects. Um, this is all information that is based upon the beat grid on a track. So if your BPM and your beat grid isn't accurate, those effects aren't gonna sound great. So it's been criticized in the past that the beat grids were a bit off with the demo software. So they've gone ahead and completely rebuilt it. We've tested it with various tracks back to back with the old version and the new version. And this new version is so much better better it's far far better than before so to take advantage of this new algorithm what you need to do if you've got an existing library with Denon DJ um, what you need to do is you need to go into the software you need to select your tracks so I'm just going to press uh, command A on this Mac to select all the tracks you can press uh, control A on a Windows PC and right click and click reanalyze tracks and then at the bottom, you can see that it says analyzing tracks and it will work through your tracks and you will get this new beat grid. Very, very good. We recommend everyone does it. It's also worth noting that Denon DJ have updated the system for moving the beat grid yourself. So if I take a track, drag it into the preparation window here. If you go to the beat grid editor, which is just underneath this disc icon here, you can now manipulate the grid with far more control, it's a lot easier. Before you could only move the grid in tiny increments, it'd take you forever if the grid was way, way off. Now you can make big sweeping changes really quickly and easily. And the save, uh, changes are saved instantly, so you can just come out of the track, carry on with what you're doing, and that will be saved. Really big improvement. Another nice improvement within the Engine Prime software is the uh, addition of a preview column. So you can see here, all your analyzed tracks, you have a miniature waveform now that shows up on the left-hand side, and you can click on this waveform any point, and it will play back that track. So if you're looking for a specific remix of a track, you can just click on it. That's the track I want it. Drag it into a playlist. It's far easier to do this than having to load it into the preparation window above and you know, go for it that way. Another nice addition is the fact that if you are working on this track, you can set a hot cue, and the hot cue will actually show on the miniature version of the waveform. So if you've played a certain track before and you know that you've placed hot cues, it's a lot easier just to glance through the preview um, tab and just see, oh, that one's got the hot cue placed, and then you know it's that track. If you're not a fan of the preview column, you can right click on the columns up top and simply remove it. It's as simple as that. Another nice addition to the um, system and the library inside Engine Prime is the ability to edit numerous tracks metadata all at once. This could be helpful, say for example, you've got a playlist and you know that it's all dance music, but because you've downloaded it from various sources, you know, one record pool's tagged it as house, the other record pool's tagged it as other in the genre. So you can literally highlight all the tracks, go to the genre field, double tap, and you can change them all. So I'm in the Crossfader free music pack crate here. If you would like to download all this music free of charge, click the top right hand corner and we will have a download link for you. I'm just gonna select all the tracks in here. I'm gonna change the album field because it's what I know. There's numerous genres in here. So I'm just gonna change the album field. So again, what you do is select all, double tap in the album 
and you can see that I've now got a cursor. I can type in we are crossfader. When you hit enter, you get this warning. Are you sure you want to change? And then it says album for me, because that's what I'm changing, but if it was genre for you or whatever you're doing. For 73 tracks, it will overwrite, say yes. And just like that, all the tracks have been edited. It's really easy, really simple to do. Another really nice feature is the ability to eject a track now. I know it sounds daft, but that wasn't there before. So you can just eject a track that you're working on, freeing up that preference uh, that prepare window so you can drag in another track when you're ready the entire library within engine prime can now be backed up so if you go to your settings up here go to the library tab scroll down and you can actually back up the library if you click back up you sure you want to back up the library yes i do it's now backing up on my hot cues, my crates, my playlists. It's not backing up the music within the library, so you will still need to keep a copy of the versions of the tracks, you know, wherever they are saved. But this is saving what order I had my playlists in, my preferences, things like that. That's all backed up. You can find the backup within your folder, in your music folder, within Finder. So if I go to music, I can see now I've got engine library and I've got engine library backup. So what I can do is I could delete that if I wanted to. And then when I'm in the software, go back to the settings, go to library and I can select restore. So if you've got that backup within your music folder, press restore and everything will come back as if nothing had happened at all. Perfect for users who need to create a backup of their library, which is something we really do recommend everyone does. Just remember, this doesn't back up the actual music. You need to do that too. Whilst we're in the settings, another cool, nice little neat feature is the fact that you can set your preferences for the SC6000, SC6000M, the Prime 2 and the Prime Go players within the software. You can save them preferences to your USB stick. When you then plug that USB stick into the devices, the new range of players from Denon, you can then load them preferences in. Nice time-saving feature that's in there. Syncing your USB stick uh, with the Engine Prime music that you've prepared has just got a whole lot easier. And this is probably the biggest standout feature within the new update. Down at the bottom left hand corner, we now have the Sync Manager. Pressing this, you can see that we have our crates and playlists on the left hand side. On the right hand side, you can plug in SD cards, external hard drives, USB sticks, or the actual um, devices if your device supports having a hard drive installed so prime 4 sc6000 things like that you can install a sata hard drive in the device plug the device into the computer power it on and you can move music from the engine prime software into your device using this window so when you're in this window you can select the crates or playlists you want to transfer over so when you select them, you can see down at the bottom here, it's telling me how much space it's going to need to move across. So I've just, I've just grabbed the Crate, the Crossfader Free Music Pack, and it says 1.6 gigabytes to move. You can then export to the drive, and that will start exporting to your USB stick. If, of course, you, um, you know, don't want to wait for this bar to finish off its job, what you can do is you can click out of the window and continue you know, cracking on with preparing music. It, you can see down here in the left hand corner, you've still got the exporting that's happening. You can see its progress and you can also cancel it. So if we cancel that there, the export has been canceled. If you're not a fan of using sync manager windows, uh, you know, to export to the drive or another thing that I just didn't mention, you can also use this to import the changes you make on a player. So say for example, I'm playing on a USB stick on this Prime 2 here and I place a hot cue on a track or create a new playlist on the device itself. I can eject that USB stick, plug it into my computer and from this same window down here where it says sync to engine, it says there's no new data to sync because I haven't done anything since the last sync. But if there was, you can press the sync to engine button and those hot cues and that playlist I created on here will go back into the computer's um, library and updates these two devices are perfectly synced if you're not a fan of using sync windows uh, maybe you're just used to the way the engine prime uh, software was working before this update you can of course open up the device panel where you can see the usb stick here and you can drag and drop 
into your um, crates or playlists if you want to. So you can simply click here and drag these across if you want to. And of course, down in the bottom right corner here, you see that this is syncing everything across. So you've got two ways of doing things now. We are a massive fan of seeing the Sync Manager. Of course, people who have used Rekordbox DJ will know uh, the Sync Manager from there and their version of it. So it makes things a lot quicker and a lot easier. Really nice update that's come to this software. And there we have it. All the updates that you need to know about inside Engine Prime version 1.5.0. Let us know in the comments below the best features that you've found and what's gonna help you out most. As always, subscribe to this channel for more content just like this. Hit the bell icon for notifications when we upload. And if you could, give us a thumbs up on this video. It really does help. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Take care.